hi guys yeah, welcome to betty's eka thank you so much for subscribing and if you've not please click on the subscribe button don't forget to hit the red bell beside me so you get notified whenever i post a new video on my channel so today oh before i forget happy new month guys and happy sunday happy new month you're welcome to the month of November where all the actions of February 14 bring forth results. You know what I mean? So today I'm going to be talking about six red flags. And the six red flags I'm going to be talking about is not only based on when you're seeing the person, it can also be through social media. So number one would be abbreviation. Apart from me, I know many people see abbreviation as one thing that actually kills the chat at first instance. When you chat somebody up for the first time, and, and the first thing you do is send WhatsApp in an abbreviated way, like that WH. I think the one I saw was WH, QSUOP or something. And then the person will have to think before. He or she understands what you are saying. So things like that tend to spoil a chat at first instance. So there was the one a guy I know when he did that. At the end of the chat, I told him if you want us to continue chatting, you have to learn how to write in free. Not even learn, you know how to do it. I don't know why you are not doing it. You have to start chatting in full. If you want us to continue chatting, and he actually changed that's why it has any food. So, the second one I'm going to be talking about will be a change in behavior on a team. If someone is, is angry with you five minutes ago, and the following five, the five minutes later, the person is saying, Baby, and yeah, if it was a very um, serious argument, and then the five minutes later, the person is but, and you saw the way the person reacted when doing the argument. You should know that this person has two faced Yeah, this person is two faced because how would you react in a very, very, very serious way to a serious reaction and a serious argument? And then five minutes later, you are saying, Big B, TL, can So it's either the person has a motive or something, I don't know, but things like that you should not ignore. The next one would be um, bringing forth a relationship or pushing forward a relationship on first day or second day of chat. Okay, you got a girl's number from a friend or something and then today I think uh, I have been noticing you uh, I used to see you this and all that and, thinking, and she was like, oh, thank you. Know that. And then the second day I tell her um, I want us to be in a relationship. Hello. We started chatting yesterday. You want us to be in a relationship today. How is that possible? It's not possible. Like, if we happen to be in a relationship the second day, that means the day after tomorrow, we will actually break up. Definitely. Because how you say you've noticed somebody, you don't even know who you want to chat with, who you are chatting with very well. You don't know who you want to be in a relationship with very well, and you want to be in a relationship with the person. Excuse me, you have actually destroyed whatever should have happened between you two on that second day or third day. So, please, girls, if someone is like that, you should actually ignore the person. For me, I will. Thought one will be getting angry at slightest things. Yes, some guys seem to get angry at jokes and even though you ignore it, like things that it doesn't work, you get angry at. And if you see the person continues short chatting, see that person has anger issue or, or social issue, either if you are someone that can cope with that, it's fine. And if you have not, for me, I will just get myself out of it because I don't even like guys that have anger issues. And the fifth one would be calling each other names. Yes, calling each other names during an argument. If you and someone, you and somebody, you have misunderstanding, and 
somebody you tend to like or somebody you tend to want to have a relationship with someone you are in a relationship with and then you're telling the person she's stupid she's mad and she doesn't have she's very insensitive and all of that girls carry your load and pack and go pack and go because at the end of the day, the first person can break your head between <laughs> a very serious argument. Yes, because how would you be, a, how would you and someone have just a misunderstanding and then something, you're very stupid and things and all that. Someone you're not even married to. So, things like that, girls, you shouldn't ignore it. You shouldn't ignore it. And though I know some girls are also like that, yes, you see that the guy is a cool guy and he's calm and all of that. You tend to take advantage and then insult him doing, uh, doing a misunderstanding. Guys, you should also check who you date. Yes, and check who you date, who you want to date, and you guys. Should. And the last will be talking about ex. Yes, if you want someone in a relationship, if you you shouldn't even bring up matters of your exes because why would you be bringing up? your ex in a discussion with someone you are dating or someone you want to date if it's someone you want to date excuse me you have just ended everything for some girls though some girls you have ended everything because you can't be complaining to your ex or saying okay your ex is to do this because you should do it or you say okay your ex is to do this you think this every discussion your ex your ex and all of that you shouldn't even if you know your ex or that special why did you leave him or her so if you know you want to be in a relationship with somebody or you want to have anything you shouldn't be discussing your ex. For me, if you do it, please I'll just say you go back to that ex because I don't think you are ready for anything since the ex is more important. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching that video. Please click on the like button and also drop a comment at the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.